Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today is about a Tibetan Mastiff protecting sheep flock from a wolf. Even though a wolf is simply a more capable hunter when compared to a Tibetan Mastiff. However, this large and powerful dog breed is likely able to stand up to wolves and do manage to fend them off most of the time. As we've mentioned in our previous videos ample times, that every wolf is different, and so is every dog. Some wolves will never back down, they simply won't care if they are outnumbered, they'll fight back and will get to their prey at every cost. And some will flee as soon as they see a large dog, such as Tibetan Mastiff approaching them. Similarly some dogs will not be brave enough to challenge a wolf, and some would go to any extent to protect their property and livestock. The wolves and other wild animals do training for a living 24-7. They have to run around in search of food all day long, have to protect themselves from other wild animals that may attack them at any given time. Some have to fight with each other for dominance, or to claim a territory. Facing challenges and navigating their way through them, builds a lot more resilience capacity in wild animals. The dogs on the other hand can do training very often but, don't forget these trainings are on their fellow dogs and only to show off strength and dominance, not fight for life. However, the dogs from working line that were bred and trained from early age to fend off wild animals would be a lot different. They stand a better chance to fend off wild animals, as compared to couch potatoes. Having said that, wild animals still have an edge over dogs, and they can be more dangerous when it comes to fight for survival. However, Dogs have always protected humans from various dangerous wild animals. Humans have relied upon dogs for centuries, either to protect themselves from wild animals or to hunt animals to consume. Either way dogs never let us down, and have protected us humans with their lives when needed. Historically the Tibetan Mastiff has been known to be a ferocious protector of its livestock and family. The breed has retained this personality trait and temperament, making the Tibetan Mastiff an excellent home security system. Originally these dogs were used to protect Buddhist monasteries and monks of Tibet from animals such as bears, wolves and snow leopards. The Tibetan Mastiff is a phenotypically distinct dog breed that was bred as a flock guardian in the high altitudes of the Himalayas and the Tibetan plateaus. Like all flock guardian breeds, they are intelligent and stubborn to a fault, so obedience training is recommended since this is a strong-willed, powerful-bodied breed. Unless they are to be used exclusively as livestock guardians, socialization training is also critical with this breed, because of their reserved nature with strangers and guardian instincts. They can be excellent family dogs, depending on the family, owners must understand canine psychology and be able and willing to spend a lot of time and devotion to training their dogs. In a realistic scenario, a Tibetan Mastiff wouldn't have to try to kill a wild animal such as wolf or snow leopard. Simply because the Mastiff would frighten them off and after the predator ran away the Mastiff wouldn't pursue it, as guardian dogs don't abandon the flock or herd they are protecting. In fact, apparently there is currently a problem in China with Tibetan Mastiffs that are being abandoned in the countryside. The stray mastiffs apparently are terrorizing the wild animals such as wolves and leopards, who reportedly even abandon their prey to the dogs when chased by them. But being stray and wild they sometimes attack humans too, which is causing huge problem for the locals. Now let's talk about our video of the day. This true work line warrior was protecting sheep flock when it saw a wolf approaching. It wasted no time and rushed to protect the sheep flock that it was guarding. The Tibetan Mastiff approached the wolf in a lightning speed, it stopped the wolf before it could have harmed any of the sheep in the flock. As soon as the wolf saw a large, aggressive, bold and resilient dog standing in between it and the sheep flock, the wolf went into a retreat mode and started to run for its life. The Tibetan Mastiff successfully chased it to the wilderness and came back with its tail high up. 
a working dog will have the working characteristics needed for that specific work. Like a Tibetan Mastiff bred for working will have more energy, be leaner, maybe a sharper mind, may be kept outside in a kennel. Their parents will normally have a history of being a good working dog, they'll have a lot more energy bred into them. That if not utilized, will normally lead to a frustrated and more aggressive dogs. This can lead to unhealthy behavior such as chewing furniture, attacking owners or other family members and pets. A working dog should always be kept on farms, where it can perform its duties what it was bred for. For homes or small apartments, one should choose a breed with lesser energy and of a calmer nature. And similarly for farms, one should only keep dogs that were bred to do the job, and not guard dogs or show dogs. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and share.